a new beginning, and we hope that you come back and bring many, many, many friends with you <laughs> next year when you do that. So let's give these fine students another round of applause. They're terrific. Again, I want to thank the terrific members of the Colorado Brass Band, if you will give them a round of applause as well. I'd like to thank our guest faculty, uh, um, Bill Dunn, Kelly Misco, um, uh, Brett Keating, Michael Horsford, Ben Justice and Tom Daverin for working with these students and help developing this fine afternoon of music. So if you will give all those fine people a round of applause. I'd like to thank um, Teresa Ann Anderson and Berkshire Hathaway for helping to underwrite the expenses on this program and helping to support music in this valley and, and uh, it's just terrific that we can have that kind of community support. So please give them thanks. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Brett Keating and Dr. Ben Justice, um, our Executive and Assistant Associate Director of the new Alpine Percussion whatever else we add to it in the future um, <laughs> camp. So thank you two gentlemen for all that you do and have done for this camp. <laughs> this is kind of unannounced, but I see her sitting in the third row. Um, Dr. Heather Robertson has been uh, our choral director for the last 14 years and she is moving on and she didn't expect this, but she's sitting right there and I want her to know how much all of us appreciate her for her 14 years at Western Heather. Very much enough for me and thank you all again for coming and supporting music at Western. If you need to get in touch with any of the activities we are doing, there are some social media contacts you can look at on our front page. You can call um, Anna Flynn, who is a graduate of music and our administrative assistant, and Anna will be glad to help you, direct you to many of the foundational um, donation um, sites at, at the Western Foundation that are available, available for you, including um, the Western Music Mountaineers Association and the Capital Campaign, the Brass Band, and the, and the uh, just the department in general. So thank you so much.
of brass band concerts without doing a march or two, could we? Um, marches are such a staple of British brass band tradition. Still, I think the, the record for the largest free outdoor music gathering in the world is held by the Whit Friday Brass Band Competition, which happens every June. It started as a religious festival, but now it's a competition where there are 18 towns and villages within about 20 square miles uh, near Manchester and Lancashire and Yorkshire, um, where you have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bands come and compete between 4 uh, p.m. and 4 a.m. I judged a, a contest called Scatman and Osterlund who used to have 103 bands per, per <laughs> night, each playing a march starting at 4 p.m. So you can imagine um, how long that went on. That march, Blaze Away, um, is a little bit of a nod to the, to the place we are in and the thing we are doing. Yes, it's um, uh, a traditional British march that's actually composed by an American, importantly. Um, the next piece we are going to play um, is a really cool piece by a very significant composer. Peter Graham is probably one of our main competitive uh, contest music composers, but he also writes fantastic um, choral, uh, fantastic concert music. Um, like Dan Price and like myself, he used to teach at the University of Salford. Um, this is a three movement suite um, from three jazz pieces. Today, where they present two movements um, of that suite to you. This is two movements from Peter Graham's three jazz pieces. Thank <laughs> you. 